Daniel Crosslink, welcome back to the Crosslink channel where we talk about 3D printing, 3D scanning and 3D design. And today we're talking about different print surface options for the Ender series, starting with the Ender 3 version 1. The Ender 3 version 1 shipped with a removable flexible surface that was a plastic uh, similar to BuildTech and this sheet of plastic was fixed to the surface by using four paper clips. And the good thing about this solution is that it is easily removable and when you take it off the heated bed you can easily pop off your printed parts. The bad thing about it is that these paper clips they take up a little bit of the print area and depending on what you are printing it can cause the print head to ripple over these paper clips so you would have to put them in different positions to accommodate the kind of thing that you're printing and if you're printing something like this large waste basket then this can get really hard so that's why I don't like that solution so much. You could also glue this to the aluminum bed because there is a self-adhesive tape on the backside, but I never chose to do that because I always wanted it to be removable. And then the Ender 3 Pro was released, which introduced a new removable and magnetic sheet. And that was a big improvement because you could easily take it off and it didn't require it to fix it to the aluminum bed using paper clips. So you could use the whole print area without any obstruction. So that was uh, the Ender 3 Pro. And then came along the Ender 3 V2, which reintroduced a little bit of a step back, I would say, because there was a new glass plate and every new printer in that time was introducing a glass plate, probably because it was cool or it was, was a trend, so to say. And that also reintroduced the clips solution because it has now a clip at the front and a clip at the back. And that again takes away a little bit of the print area. Why is that? For example, this solution here, the BiQ H2, that I introduced in my previous video that has a fan mount here at the front so this fan solution will ripple over the front clip because it's actually sticking out a little bit to the front and it's very close to the nozzle so you're not only losing the area here where the nozzle might scratch this clip but you're also losing even more like two or three centimeters in the front because of your fan solution depending what fan solution you have on your extrusion system so that's why I don't like it in the first place and the second reason why I don't like it so much is it is very sticky which some people would say yeah what are you complaining about it's super sticky surface that's great yes it's great but it's also a problem sometimes because you can imagine if you print something big like this and this is a fragile part so if you want to get this off the print surface and you have to use the scraper that comes with the printer or you have to use something like the spatula from BuildTech, you could easily break it and layers could detach because this is gonna bend the part and it's gonna put some force on it. So this is not always the best solution in my opinion. And then if you are printing a lot of parts, let's say you're printing a lot of parts like these game parts and there is like 20 small items on this glass bed surface, it can get really, really difficult to get these parts off because they are not very high. So you have no leverage to get them off easily. And some people might say okay put this glass plate into the freezer that will get your parts off easier so looking at that solution our freezer is always super full so that might not work all the time that's why i was looking for another solution and i found this magnetic flexible metal sheet plate uh, that's powder coated with PEI on one side. On AliExpress it's from Energetic. I'm also putting a link in the description of this video. I've put this now on all of my printers except the V2 which I'm going to do right now to show how easy it is. And this is actually the best solution I could find because it's not only having this flat surface which other solutions might have but it also has this kind of rough side which is even stickier and it works for basically every material and the good thing is also if it cools down basically you don't have to use any force anymore to get the things off whereas here you have to wait until it cools down to make things get off easier so if you're doing rapid prints um, one after the other it's gonna take you more time with the glass plate so this spring steel surface comes with a magnetic counterpart which is also adhesive on the backside, and we're gonna install it right now 
on the Inder 3 V2. So step one to do this is to take the old glass plate off just by removing the clips and then basically taking this off. So you see the glass plate also has the uncoated side. Some people also say you can print on this other side. I think that's actually quite difficult without any adhesive helper like a print spray or glue stick. And now we're gonna attach this self-adhesive magnetic part to the aluminum bed. So we're just gonna peel it off a little bit here and then start in one corner and just align it with the backside. So it was really aligning with the corners and also with the edges. Yeah, don't push it down too early and then we can slowly remove the sticky tape. And then we can start pushing it down so we don't have any bubbles in here. Yeah, and that's already it. Like this is super easy to do and it's already sticking quite well, I would say. What you normally should do is like press down on it, like use something to press it down a little bit further, like some kind of scraper. You could also use the backside of the scraper, the plastic part to rub it a little bit against um, the aluminum surface. If you start heating it up right now, it could easily detach. So I would really let it rest for a few hours now before starting first print. But I wanna show you now how easy it is to get this attached. So you just align it, you just align the metal sheet here with the corners and then drop it down and you're basically done. Done. One thing to mention here, if you don't have a BL touch sensor or another bed leveling sensor, you will have to control and set the right distance to the nozzle again, because that might have changed depending on how thick the glass plate is. So that kind of distance is probably now off. Since I have the BL touch on this printer, it doesn't uh, introduce any issues. It's gonna be at the same distance. Still, it is required or it is recommended that you do a few tests whether the distance that you've set to the set offset is still the best option now or if you need to take it away a little bit further or if you need to get closer. That depends on the kind of metal sheet solution and also on the side that you're using. It might be better to go a little bit closer or it might be better to go a little bit further away. Way, depending on the surface material of the solution that you're applying. But in any way, with a bed leveling sensor, you won't have any big issues. So I will let this rest for a few hours now, and then I'll show you some test prints and how easy they are getting off the surface. So the test print has just finished. So let's see how easy it is to get things off the build plate. It's still warm, so I'm just gonna lift it up and I can see already parts detaching. So and, and what I just have to do is slightly bend it and then basically everything is falling off the build plate. So that's how easy it can be by using a magnetic metal sheet build plate system like this one. So for everyone watching this in the first 48 hours of this video going live, I have a little surprise. I'm giving away a complete set of a build plate for an Ender 3 with the magnetic base. So all you have to do is to add a comment to this video why you want this uh, upgrade and then I'll do a little raffle after 48 hours of this video being live. I hope you like this video. If so, please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And if you wanna watch more of my content, Content. I've linked up two more videos for you here and I will see you in the next one. Bye!